Every year on the anniversary of his birth, Cuba's students light a flame to the country's founding father, José Martí, an independence hero who embodied the rebelliousness of Cuban youth. Known as the March of the Torches, this was the first big government event since historic talks with the United States in January. The young marchers said they welcomed the steps towards a thaw. It's important because the North American people form part of Cuban history and we share a single Pan-American identity, says this student Andres. There are many reasons why Cuba has decided to renew ties with Washington now. Some say it's mainly economic, but others see social factors such as age playing a role. Leading the march were senior members of the Politburo, but unlike Martí, who was just 42 when he died, some of the men governing Cuba are in their mid-80s. Blogger Harold Cárdenas believes Cuba's youth has become disengaged with politics. They need to, to change many things. They need to, to explain better where we're going uh, so that people can have some consensus about it. And then you're going to have a much, a much more united country in that way. And also, the, new, the younger people are going to embrace that. Fidel Castro recently reappeared in photos alongside a student leader. A message, perhaps, that the Cuban revolution will continue for years to come. But there are those in the government who fear that unless change happens soon, they will lose future generations of young Cubans, not just geographically to the United States, but also in the battle for their hearts and minds. The waters ahead for the US and Cuba are still rough, with several key questions to be resolved. Many young people are waiting to see what the thaw will bring before deciding where their futures lie. But government supporters say the age gap in Cuban politics has been exaggerated. La composición etaria. The public image of the age of the Cuban leadership is erroneous. There are people in key roles who are undeniably much older, but directly beneath them are men in their 50s. The baton will pass in 2018, and I'd expected the Americans to wait until then for talks. The announced thaw has brought great expectation to Cuba for improved living standards, greater internet access and an end to the US trade embargo. But many young people just hope that by the next March of the Torches, they'll enjoy more opportunities for growth than their parents' generation. Will Grant, BBC News, Havana.